Hi guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life, where everything I make is super simple. Welcome back to you and me. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. If you check out my vlog, you can find out why, but basically, COVID, my whole family got it, and um, it's just, it's been a really long year for my family in general, but I am back today. Um, this is going to be a little bit crinkly. So I will pause, but I bought these cute little Easter decorations at Dollar Tree, of course. They come with four markers. We have a purple, a pink, a yellow, and a green. I believe they are the exact same thing, but I'm going to pause, take them out of the package, show them to you, and then together we will color them. So I will be right back. Okay, I got rid of all the things that crinkle. I have my markers right here out of the package. I'm sorry if my voice is not entirely up to par. Um, like I said, COVID. But yes, these are, looks like the exact same thing. You can tell the top one has like a thicker line, like a thicker print and almost kind of blurred. And this one is what we'll probably use because it just looks better and prettier. I don't know if you guys celebrate Easter. Um, if you do, happy Easter. If you don't, then you can just relax while I color. Doesn't really matter what I'm coloring, right? I'm going to move these out of the way. The pink, purple, and green. And I'll hold on to the cap for yellow. These look like tulips to me, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'll do a pattern like yellow, yellow, and yellow, and then maybe do pink with the other one. I'm going to turn it sideways. Do you guys do anything special? Easter we don't have any local family at all like nobody I mean my mom lives locally but I don't have a relationship with her I actually don't even know if she still lives locally because that's how much I don't have a relationship with her so we just do something as a family of four my husband, my children, and myself. Oh, I know what I'll do. Let's do the one in the background pink. Since it's like a double. I think that will give it more like depth. The lid doesn't go on. Oh, this pink looks bright. But yeah, I do Easter egg hunt for the kids. And I do... some baskets this year I did a couple of eggs with money inside not just candy and treats because they're getting older so we'll see if they like that and I have to bake a cake I'm gonna make a gluten free uh, so I can have it because I don't eat gluten a gluten free like white cake with a chocolate icing and some cute little like colorful rainbow sprinkles. That's pretty. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll hold on to the pink one. It like literally does not match the outside. Look at the color of the pink, but then look at the marker on the outside. It's not the same, but I like this color that it's coming out more than the actual marker on the outside. Anyways. I'm going to do pink here for the front one, and then yellow. I think that'll be pretty, like the opposite of what I just did. But yeah, I like Easter. Last year for Easter, we were in England for Easter and my birthday. My birthday is very soon. It's about a week away. And I will be 40. Yikes. 40 years old. I'm actually very excited to be 40. 
I like not being a kid anymore and not caring about what other people think and really coming to your own. I feel like throughout my entire 30s as like a wife, a young younger wife, newer wife and new mom. Um I feel like maybe I was like holding my breath a lot. Not knowing who I was or what I was doing. <laughs> And I feel like now that I'm about to be 40, I can like, you know, take a deep breath and exhale and be proud of where I'm at in my life and all the things I've accomplished. There's also something very comforting about just like being in a place of acceptance, not in like a lazy way, but just like in a content way. I'm content in my life. Things feel content. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Sorry. I'm like happy. Okay. I'm going to keep going. So the front one down here should be yellow. I'm trying to keep my pattern. I don't know what color to do the letters. Maybe purple. I feel like I had such a good routine going, making videos consistently, and man, life, all of 2023 for my family so far has been a lot, and my husband lost his dad, and he's the executor, or whatever it's called, of the will, so he has to do everything everything and my father-in-law <clears throat> he had a lot of hobbies and he was a bit of a hoarder so we had to go to England and clean out all of his hobby related stuff and get stuff sold and help out his wife and um, so she wouldn't have to do it all herself because she's in her mid 70s you know and she also has cancer that bled a little bit but um and then my husband had to come home and my father-in-law here in the states had like a storage unit like a little mini warehouse almost full of more supplies so my husband had to or still is I should say I'm so mad that bled into that one it's okay so my husband had to, or still is having to, clean out my father-in-law's stuff, his dad's stuff, and go through it all and figure out what to keep, what to get rid of, and what to sell. Like my father-in-law collects, um, collected, uh, radio equipment, like ham radio equipment, and trains, like model trains. So my husband was like I'm just gonna give them to consignment I mean they take a cut because they're like doing all the selling for you <clears throat> but it's just easier so they go to people who really love them and know what they are and what they're buying because we are not in the hot those hobbies like we don't know what we're doing so it's been very difficult, very stressful. My husband has been gone a lot. Um, like at the storage unit. So, long story short, everybody has something, right? Between my dog and her separation anxiety my new puppy and her chewing and trying to eat everything in sight. The loss of my father-in-law. Oh wait, I'm going to keep the yellow. I forgot. It's been a lot.
Usually I grab some like supplemental colors, but this time I didn't, so hopefully none of these little markers were out of ink. I have my pattern right. Okay, yellow in front, yellow behind, yellow in front, yellow behind, yellow in front, so yellow behind. I kind of wonder if that like COVID brain fog is real because I find it very difficult to concentrate. <laughs> I can't believe that was actually my first time testing positive this whole time. I've never tested positive for COVID. <laughs> my best friend was like, congratulations. <laughs> like it's some kind of prize. I don't know. I don't I actually don't think it's my first time having COVID. This is the first time that I took a test at the right time and it came back positive. I think we've all had COVID at this point. That's just my opinion. I am not a doctor. That's my disclaimer. These are just my opinions. I am not a doctor. Pretty. Okay. We'll do the front of this one and then we'll move on and do like the letters or something. Do you guys decorate easter eggs we've only decorated easter eggs with my kids like you know like where you tip them in in the dye and stuff we've literally only done that once with my kids and it's because it's a waste of eggs in our house no one will eat the hard-boiled eggs and i don't know about you guys but have you seen the price of eggs <laughs> so I have a feeling that maybe not as many eggs are going to get dyed this year. Because even though the price has gone down, it's still more expensive than it used to be. More expensive than I remember eggs ever being. <laughs> oh, look at it. That is so pretty, you guys. Okay. Now I think I will do... Maybe a couple of the dots inside the eggs. Purple. This is a really dark purple. Like that. And like that. Cute. And maybe the opposite on this one. So we'll do this. I know I say this every time I do a coloring video, but man, I really should put my glasses on. Okay, cute. Now, I think inside the eggs, um, let's do like one green. Like that. And I'll do like one green. And then... I think I'll take like the yellow and make one yellow like that and on the other one I'll do pink one pink like this I don't know if I'll color the out the background of the eggs <sighs> see I should have grabbed different colors Okay, I'm going to do, I'm trying to think, I'm going to start with purple, and I'll think about it while I'm coloring. I can't decide if I want to do a pattern or do them all one color. I'm 
to go sideways just because it's easier to stay in the lines that way. When I think of Easter, I don't think of like this shade of purple. I think more like the color on my nails, like a pale purple. I can hear my husband yelling no at my dog. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear it too. <laughs> Maybe I will do a pattern. So I'll do the P and the Y. What else happened to me? Oh, I took my kids to the dentist two days ago. My daughter needs braces and one of those like spacer things that makes their jaws bigger. They said that my son needs a spacer too, but he's only seven. It's crazy like I remember when I was a kid, I'm probably aging myself, but like they kind of wanted you to wait till you were like almost done growing, till you're like a teenager to start orthodontia work. And now it seems like they don't do that. Okay, I kind of want, I want the purple and happy to dry before I color these two. So I'm going to move on to Easter. So I'll do the E the S and then the other E in green and then I'll make a decision about who gets what other color probably like pink and yellow is what I'll do But yeah, like I said, there's three phases of orthodontia and my daughter and my son both need phase one. Dude, I don't know. The dentist said I needed braces when I was a kid, but we didn't have the money. My top teeth are pretty straight, but my bottom teeth are crooked. But again, I'm 40. I really don't care now. I told my husband, I was like, I should get a Visalign for my bottom teeth. And he was like, no, that's dumb because <laughs> we're old now. So. Maybe I'll get a Visalign just so my kids don't feel alone in their orthodontic, orthodontic journey. Orthodontic journey. I don't really know how you say that. Okay, um, I'm gonna do yellow for the A and the P, I think, and then do pink down here. So hopefully the HPY has dried enough where it won't bleed with this. We'll see. We'll see. I should probably turn this down a little bit, huh? I'm very out of practice, you guys. <laughs> with making videos. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Anytime I ever disappear from making videos, it's health related. Like it's always been health related. So if I'm gone, I'm sick or it's like something's happening. I've had, you know, 
hormonal issues. I had um, potential cancer scare that I got very lucky with. Had to have surgery. Like every time I disappear from making videos, um, it's not because I'm like I'm done with with YouTube. It's never that. <laughs> Something happened, <laughs> either with me or my children. Usually with me. That looks pretty. Okay. Doesn't look too... I was afraid it was going to look too much like Christmas, but... It doesn't. It looks like Easter. Cute. Okay, what do we think? I think that looks pretty good. We gotta do these couple polka dots here, and then we can go back into our leaves with the green, because I think that's gonna really make it pop. Um, let's do this one. Like that. Okay. We'll do purple. And purple. I'm using the purple the least, I think, because I like it the least. <laughs> Not a big fan. We'll put a green one here. I just wish it was a more of like violet, like pale purple. I think that would have looked so much better. Sorry, my ring hit my tripod. Okay. Um, now we're gonna go in with the green and we gotta do these leaves that go with these tulips. Am I right that it's tulips? I hope I'm right. I did get some cool coloring books and markers when I was in England. I literally got them like for you guys. And I haven't even shown them, I don't think. And I have Valentine's Day art stuff that I never got to make because I was sick. And then I was gone. And then I was sick again. I wonder if I should get another marker and make that light green. I think I might. So let's focus on the leaves. And then I might go find another marker. This marker kind of feels like it's going to already run out of ink, which would really suck. I barely used it, so it better not, but it is Dollar Tree, so. Uh-oh, got a little bit of bleeding right there. It's just the wood it's like plywood it's not meant to be colored you know oh it looks so pretty already makes me so happy i'm 
But yeah, this puppy, I love her. She's a rescue. She's actually from Mexico. There's a woman on Facebook. She's American, but she lives in Mexico. And she rescues puppies and then puts them up for adoption. And that's where my dog came from. Her name is Nyla. N-Y-L-A. I had no idea. Like, like no idea. Oh, I have a UPS package. Sorry, guys, that scared me. I'm not expecting anything. Huh, okay, interesting. Maybe it's for my birthday. It could be for my birthday. She yelled UPS really loud. My front door is by my bedroom, so sorry. Ooh, what is that package? I wonder. Hmm, I don't know. I got distracted. Sorry, guys. I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Brain fart. Should I find another color for the Easter eggs or should I leave them blank? I don't know. I was thinking of doing like a blue or like a turquoise or something so that they stand out. Maybe I'll do that. How does it look so far? It looks so pretty. This might be one of my favorite things I've made. I think it's just because I like springtime. I'm almost done with this part. I have one more and then I will pause real quick and try to go find some other colors the way I should have in the first place for us because I wasn't thinking I almost always bring my box of crayons or of, of markers when I do these videos just in case Good green, I like it. It's super vibrant. But I want some contrast between the leaves and the stems. Okay, you guys, that is super pretty. I'm gonna try and find some sort of blue or turquoise for the background of the Easter eggs. And I'm going to find a pale green for the stems so we can finish up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I found a paler green for the stems and then a blue for the eggs. Let's try this blue. I don't know. I have marker like all over myself now. I was trying different colors. Let's give this a try. Not bad. It's not as turquoise as I wanted, but I don't want to use my good markers that are like meant for paper, the more expensive markers that I have, to be used on wood. I just wanted something that would make the eggs stand out. That was a different color. And this is definitely that. Has anybody seen the Mario movie yet? I'm going to take my kids during their spring break. I want to see it too because I'm kind of a nerd and, you know, Mario is just 
my generation, you know? So I kind of see it. I'm going to take the, my kids the day before my birthday. And I want to go shopping for a new couch. And believe it or not, I am 40 years old. I live an hour away from two different Ikeas and I've never been there. So I told my husband, I was like, I want to start couch shopping for my birthday. I want to go to Ikea and have lunch and look at their furniture. Because I've seen it in videos and stuff like on YouTube. And I've, you know, seen people be like, oh, my furniture is from Ikea. I got this chair at Ikea. And I'm like, what is this magical place? I don't know. I just want to go check it out. Eat some food, have a cup of coffee or something, and go feel like a fancy grown up for one afternoon. I don't know, there's something about. I know it sounds dumb because it's IKEA, but there's something about it that feels like fancy. I think because I didn't grow up with a lot of money, that just going to a furniture store at all, it always feels fancy to me. Like, holy crap, you can buy furniture brand new instead of used. <laughs> Okay, what do we think of the blue Easter eggs? It's a little bit dark, calm. I think it's okay. When it dries, it like starts to lighten up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take, for our last thing here, we're gonna take this very, very pale green. It's almost yellow, but it's not. And we're gonna color like that. It is almost yellow, isn't it? Is it too close to yellow? Okay, it's pretty much yellow. We're, we're, we're in it now, you guys. We're committed. I thought it was going to be a little more green, but it looks like yellow with like a drop of green in it. I can tell in person better than on camera that it's a different color. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. be okay not exactly what I wanted but I was afraid if I went with a color that was like one shade darker than this it would be too close to the leaf green oh well it's okay it is what it is I'm not gonna color the background. I usually don't because I like having a little bit of wood exposed. I think it looks pretty. And also, I think if I were to try and color it, it would ruin it. I like leaving it blank personally. Okay, well, that barely looks green. Oh well. That's pretty cute. Look at the marker on my finger. Anyways, you guys, what do you think? I think it turned out alright. You really can barely tell the difference in those two colors. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Easter if you celebrate. And if not, I just hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you for being patient with me as I took a hiatus for family reasons, death in the family reasons, and... Uh, illness reasons, COVID reasons. Um, I hope to see you guys again very soon. Bye.